Hey guys, it's Cookie again with another countdown. Today I'm going to count down the top 10 hero powers in Star Wars Battlefront 2. The powers will be ranked on effectiveness and coolness, so let's jump right into it. At number 10, it's Kylo Ren's Freeze. Since we all saw the freeze in Kylo's teaser trailer, we knew it was going to be fun to use. As effective as the power is at not only providing easy kills, but also giving Kylo a chance to escape, it's the coolness of the power in the way it looks and sounds that places it on this list. It's just so much fun to use. At number 9, it's Darth Maul's Chokehold. The Chokehold takes Vader's choke and Luke's push and essentially combines them. It's perfect for Darth Maul as it is a very quick change of pace from Maul's other powers. It allows Maul to show off his menacing side without leaving him too susceptible to attacks. Coming in at number 8, it's Chewbacca's Furious Bowcaster. The Furious Bowcaster is a super fun tool when it comes to just blowing the crap out of enemies. This power can send enemies absolutely flying, not to mention it is completely devastating to use in Heroes vs. Villains. You can also shoot off a lot of rounds before the power runs out, so go ahead, enjoy. The number 7 power is Darth Vader's Force Choke. One of the most iconic moves from the films is Darth Vader's Choke, so employing it in Battlefront is an absolute must. I have to say it's oh so satisfying hearing that crunch of rebel bones as you slowly strip the life from them. Okay, that was a little disturbing, moving on. It does leave Vader slightly vulnerable while he's using it in a group, but as long as it's just a few enemies at a time, it's oh so nice. Number six is Han Solo's Detonite Charge. This didn't seem like it would be effective or cool when announced as part of Han's hero package, but boy did that turn out being wrong. Han's Detonite Charge is one of the most effective tools at taking out a group of enemies because of its sheer power. Not to mention it can be used quickly like a grenade or slowly like a mine. Also a super good tool to use in Heroes vs. Villains, so all of that lands it on this list. Number 5 is Rey's Mind Control. The coolness chart rates this fairly high, but this power is more about effectiveness. When in battle, Rey's Mind Control can make her almost unstoppable when going against large groups. The ability to invert a player's controls when they're trying to kill you is creative and devastating. Plus, this power against heroes and villains always gives Rey a slight advantage. Number four is Lando's Sharp Shot. Lando's Sharp Shot is a huge step forward from Greedo's Precision Shots, which was essentially the same power. This power finds targets very quickly and can effectively shoot them all down, usually in just one hit. The swiftness that Lando uses when whipping out the gun and shooting does add some style points to an already awesome power. Number three is Yoda's Unleash. The Unleash is both super effective and super cool. It fits Yoda's character perfectly. It employs a move that Yoda used in both Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. He can block enemies' attacks and then launch it back at them with a force push. This makes Yoda's force push a one-hit kill machine if powered all the way up, and it can hit a very high amount of targets at one time. Coming in at number two, it's Darth Maul's Spin Attack. The Spin Attack is very simple, and if you blink, you'll miss it, but that's part of what makes it so cool. It's the fastest of all the hero dash moves and is an essential part of Darth Maul the character. It can be very confusing for enemies trying to locate Maul's position when he flies from one room to another, but also it's essential that Maul has this power or else he would be overly vulnerable without the ability to block. It's fun to employ and can be done many times since it has a quick refresh timer. It's the runner-up on our list. Before we tell you the number one power, here are a few honorable mention picks that just missed our list. All right, and at number one, it's Boba Fett's Rocket Barrage. The Rocket Barrage is so amazingly fun to use, whether you're on the ground with Boba or airborne, although it's much better in the air. Depending on the player's ability with Boba, you can hit an entire area of targets and eviscerate them with one barrage of rockets. The Rocket Barrage also looks just so cool the way it is released from the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter's arm. It's just so cool and so effective. It's a solid pick for the number one spot. 
So that's the list, guys. No doubt that you'll disagree with some of the picks. Let me know in the comments section what you think and what you agree slash disagree with me on. Also, let me know if there's another Star Wars Battlefront 2 countdown that you would like to see done, and it may just happen here on this channel. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to Swanee Plays Games if you haven't already, donate if you can, and I will see you next time. I warn you not to underestimate my powers. Do not throw away your potential. Don't force me to kill you!